my peachy people and welcome back to another closet clean out if you're new here what's up my name is alex and we do one of these every single year because somebody's got a problem with um having too many swimsuits as you can see very clearly <laughs> and that's not even all of them so all my peachy people that are regular subscribers hello i have missed you i have been a busy bees just a little fyi guys this video there's a lot of love that's going into it. I think I have literally probably like 40 plus swimsuits. And I'm going to be trying on every single one of them for you today. Now, before we get going ahead, I typically like to do like a preview, what do you call it, premiere for these. We're going to do that this time and I hope that you guys join on, get involved in the chats and the comments. And as we watch the video, I would love for you guys to rate every single swimming costume with either a hmm or a hmm. And if you really, really love it and you think that I should keep it, put a peach there. Last thing, I don't know if you guys know, but there is something called Super Thanks. And if you want to support my channel and allow me to do cool things and Maggie <laughs> and purchase cool products um, to make these videos better for you, all you need to do is click that little heart with the dollar sign and you can give any denomination that you feel comfortable with and I will be sending you a personal thank you video or message just to say thanks for helping your girl out if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe as well as click the notification bell so that you guys actually know when I'm uploading videos because so let's get straight into the So you may notice that we are in my lounge today because I just feel like this is an actual day job right here. Question number one. This is from Pretty Little Thing. You guys probably would have seen this in my Love Island haul, which I will link up here for you to go and see. Uh, I am a bit concerned that it is see-through for me personally. It's a no. I feel like someone else could really like pull this off, um, maybe even for like a Baywatch Halloween costume. I'm gonna give you guys five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Ding, 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 ding. I think it's a no. You know what I should do? I should quickly count these bad boys. One, two, three, four, five, eight, 39, 40. Guys, I have 40 swimming costumes just on the rack. And then there's a whole, I have a problem. Question number two. This is from Cotton On and I have actually worn this bad boy. I have not worn the red one. So this is how I'm going to tell if I'm going to keep things, sell them, donate them. By the way, I'm selling them on my yoga to my South African people if you would like to buy them. And I'm going to do a Black Friday discount. So you best be following me for now. Even though my belly button now is out, I actually really like it. It's got a built-in padded bra as well. We've got my... Ah! Shit. I broke one of my nails and it's really hurting. So yeah, I really, really <coughs> like this and I think that I'm gonna keep this. What do you guys think? Are we hmm? Are we hmm? Or do you love it so much and it's a peach and I should keep it for the rest of my life? On to the next one. You guys know this one. I don't even feel like I need to try it on, but I'm gonna because I love you guys. And I love the swimming costume. So I'll be back. How I never expected it, but Honestly speaking, this is an absolute belter. I don't feel like I've looked this good in the swimming costume in a really long time. And honestly, with that being said, like a lot of these aren't going to fit. And that is because my body has changed, which is okay, guys. I am not one the same person I was a year ago. And my body is not the same body that it was a year ago. And I'm going to just try and move on from this. Like, that's kind of why I've been putting this off because one it's it's really hard to like try and footy something costumes but two i'm like you guys are going to get frustrated because none of them fit and it's a waste of your time and i really hope you don't feel that way but just know that we're doing the internal work here so even though you're seeing the external there's a lot going on in here and i hope you guys can appreciate that so for my own Toot, I'm going to say that I'm going to keep this swimming costume. Like, there's absolutely nothing 
that I do not like about it. It is one of my favorites. I've said that many times now. Winner winner, chicken dinner. <sighs> okay, so I, I think I'm definitely gonna need your help with this one because I'm really on the fence. Like, this is from Frankie's, right? And if you guys go watch that video up here, you will know that it is one of like the best quality swimming costumes that I've ever reviewed before. So like it just feels like butter, right? And this is just something that's gonna last a long time. I love the material, I love the color, but I just don't know like if I need to be ruthless right now and just let her go. So I think what we can also do is like in the comments, uh, you can just pop in this time right now and you can say yes or no. Um, or if you're watching live right now, you can also vote. But I think what we're gonna do is potentially choose between this one and this one and see which one I like more because I don't need two swimming costumes, two orange swimming costumes, you know? Even though I have two full ones that I just said yes to. <laughs> between the one I just showed you now and this one, which one do you guys prefer? I personally feel a little bit... I don't know. Um, I think that this one's cuter. You guys know that I'm a sucker for a swimming costume that is a little bit different and this one like we've got underwiring which is probably so blown out right now we've got this little dangle dangle thing over here and tie sides love a tie side so I personally think that this one brings me more joy and if you have watched uh, what's her name? Maria Kondo, Kondo? Uh, she basically like s allows you to let go clothes if you um, if they spark joy so if they don't spark joy then you give them a hug and you throw them away. Well, I mean, you give them away. <laughs> so I think that this one sparks a little bit more joy. So I personally think that this is peach approved. Unless you guys convince me, otherwise, now's your time. Now this is something that you guys probably would be like, whoa, girl, that's not your style. And you're right, but I feel like every now and then you have to try things out of your comfort zone. And this was actually on a video that I did with a YouTuber friend called Caesar and Lovu. I'll link that up here for you guys to also go have a look. But this is from Cupshe. And I think this is in a 0XL. It's just a little bit too tight on my bottom for me. It's giving like double bum over here. I find this interesting because I don't typically wear pressure brush. But it's given the boobish boobish, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but it's just not my style, it's not my vibe. But I do think that this would look super cute on someone. So I will 110% be selling this. I feel like this one is going to take me a good 6 to 8 business days to get on. So grab a snack, grab a drink. Might as well just grab a whole 7 course meal because... You... Here we go. Oh, you see, I was too lazy to do the whole thing up. I honestly felt like I was doing an algebra quiz here because this is definitely not the way that you're supposed to wear it. I'll tell you that for free. But this is too confusing for me. And it's really sad because I genuinely love the top. Like, I think it's so nice. I love the underboob as well, but like... <sighs> Damn. Now that I look at myself in the mirror, I'm contemplating. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I actually really like it. But do I like it enough to go through the pain of putting it on? Hmm. Okay, I'm actually, I might be changed. Like, my thoughts might be changed right now. So I think this is going to be down to you guys. But... Tricky. This to me rock around me, rock around me, rock around me, rock around me, rock Okay, now this is definitely more of a micro bikini. And funny thing is, when I was putting it on the rack, I was like, I'm gonna have to let it go because um, I definitely won't fit in that anymore. And I mean, let's be honest, I technically don't fit in this anymore, but like, I feel like a micro bikini is really hot sometimes. I can just picture myself on a beach somewhere with a strong old man, not old, but like, <laughs> A strong man like picking me up and throwing me around in the sea and me just living my best life without getting giving zero bucks so I think this one is probably leaning more towards a hmm than a hmm uh, so so far this one and the two orange ones need your help put time timestamp or reply now if you think I should keep this 
So Nara is talking about sparking joy. This doesn't spark joy for me at all. It's just... I don't know what it is about it. Maybe I don't really like YouTubes. Maybe it's just not exciting enough for me. Like these... Like... I don't know how to explain it, but like... It's just... Meh. I think that this is a no. This one's pads are all messed up, but I'm really not in the mood. Um... This one is from a cup she collab with Tabria Mages, which again, <laughs> I'll link up there for you guys. And I think I said during this video that like, even though it was cute and supportive, it just, it's not for me. Like it's digging in the sides over here. I think it's a cute design, but it's just nah, not my vibe and there's nothing wrong with it necessarily, but like, I'm just not feeling it. So I'm definitely going to be putting this one up for sale on my Jagger. I think that this is probably one of my favorite bikini designs of all. And that is because of the coloring. It's just so unique. It's giving like heat map. What do you call it? You know, when something's really hot, it's red. And when it's cold, it's blue. This is from Frankie's. And they really do have great designs and different colors and whatnot. Like, I feel like this one I can wear a number of ways as well. Oh, oh! I think that's even cuter, right? Guys, I don't think I need some help on this one because I think I'm going to keep it. The quality, chef's kiss. The design, another chef's kiss. She's got a matching sarong, so I'm keeping this. When I originally tried this one on, I just thought that it was a bit too cool for me. And I don't mean that I, I can't wear cool stuff, but it's just, I think it's too cool for me. <laughs> I know that micro minis are in and um, they're all the rage right now, but it's just, there's something strange going on in the back as well. Maybe it's because it doesn't fit me, but the, for me, I feel like this is very childish. I do love the fact that we have a proper tube top. I'd probably keep the top over the skirt, but like over here, it's got a built-in underwear. Uh, swimming costume. So, I mean, it's cool for people that like don't want to show everything. I get that, but not for me. I absolutely hate the swimming costume. This is from Cupshe. And I think that Caesar. Oh, guys, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I think that Caesar and I actually had a good laugh when we tried this one on because if I said I felt childish before, this one makes me feel like I'm in grade two. It's a no for me. Hard no. This is the part of the video where things are gonna get a bit rough. My hair's already going to shit. Like, <laughs> just get ready. Funnily enough, this was one of the colors that you guys said you loved the most in the last one. But have I kept this for a year and I have not worn it? Yeah. So that's kind of an indicator to me that I should let it have a new home. I just feel like I have better options and it doesn't really spark that much joy for me. So I feel like this one is a hard no. Not a hard no, maybe a soft no. I forgot that there was two on that hanger. Exact same color, exact same material, but do they make me feel different? Yeah, kind of. I think that this one's cute. Um, for some crazy reason, you guys really loved this one in the last haul. I think it's a cute color. Have my lips looked like that the whole time? Wow, sorry about that. Oh my gosh, my sweaty upper lip. <laughs> Have I worn it in a year? No. Is it my favorite? No. Unless you guys can convince me otherwise, but I'm saying that this one is a no. No bueno. No. Guys, what the hell is going on here? This is the same size as the other Tabria ones. Like, that was a really weird discrepancy that was going on. Like, this is literally like a waist trainer. But this is just a no for me, straight up. There's nothing cute about it, specifically the bottom, the top, questionable. I feel like someone else would be a lot happier with this. I am not that person. This one, I think I actually like the top. I always like to keep a bright colored bikini to like wear under things uh, for like festivals and stuff like that. So I think the top I would keep, it is a bit small, but I like that. The bottoms, it's giving like hospital panty and not in a good way. Like these double things, they do, they never sit well on me. I don't understand how, because they just roll down the whole time. So, I mean, I have like a different variation over here, which I'm going to quickly try on. The bottom is just like a normal Brazilian. So let me quickly pop that on. You let me know which one you like best. Okay. So I personally think that this one 
think that this one is better even though like I'm not mad about it like I think it's the better option um, I think it's creating a little bit of length in my torso which is cute I think I think I'm gonna keep this not the bottoms though yeah I think that's what's up I think that's what's up so I don't quite know what it is about this bikini but honestly it's just does the things for me I think it's the the coloring I think it's the material wait am I lying no I think it's cute I think it's cute like it's got a cute little floral pattern and the top is like it's more like a bra at the back and you know when we were just speaking about hospital panties like this one still the same vibe with like the ruched front and back but it's not like that you know it's like that I think it's cute I think it's different I think it looks cool on my skin tone <sighs> yeah yeah I was just getting so excited I was like oh my god look I'm halfway done and then I realized that I have the whole box of skin stuff <sighs> I'm just gonna say it right now this might be a two-day ordeal you guys really like the swimming costume and I personally just do them no way I think like the concept I think this is called a monokini is cute but like this is just like the proportions are not doing it for me the print is a little bit too childlike for me as well I would no I would not gravitate towards this one. No, no, no. I don't know if you guys remember, but there was like a spotty orange, blue, dark green one. And I have lost the second piece of it. So it's pretty tragic. I'm gonna have to keep looking. But this is this one. But when, but just before I put it on, I was like, I don't think I'm gonna keep it. I haven't worn it in a while. But I put it back on and it's Mark Joy, guys. I think the color like is quite complementary to my skin tone and it came with this little set which I want to show you now and I feel like I've also been gravitating more towards like the neutral classic kinds of looks um but like a festival no very different like this is fucking cute guys what this is very very cute it's away to the beach no it's cute actually <laughs> I might just keep this okay another Frankie's I, I think I need your help with this one because I don't know if it's a me thing but like I know for a fact that when I wore this one my body was quite different and I thought that I looked good in that kind of body but I think the bottoms are just feeling a bit small for me but then like I'm also confused because I think it's very unique I don't think a lot of people would like the color combo, but it's like a terry cloth, terry cloth kind of material, and that's different for me. I think it's fun, interesting, but I don't know. Am I just being self-conscious, or is this a cute bikini? I think one other thing that's stumped... You know, this is actually cute. This is one of those, like, cute girl bikinis. <laughs> the ones that, like, don't give a fuck and are fashionable, you know what I mean? I don't want to be that girl. I don't want to give many fucks. So should I just keep it? I'm gonna need your votes right now. Frankies, blue and brown. What are we saying, people? The hair had to go up, guys. It was getting tricky out there. I don't think that you guys have probably seen this one if you didn't watch uh, Caesar's video. But when I tried this on, like, both of us, fucking stunning. Like, it just gave me classic, classy, timeless vibes and I think it still does like I think the silhouette is stunning I love the ruching over here because it like creates a waist as well I love this I love the color you know like when you start cleaning out stuff for me personally I either like go balls to the wall and like literally I'm left with two t-shirts or it's the complete opposite and I just end up keeping everything and I'm like what was the point in that so that's why I need you guys here it's stunning. It's really stunning. Last time you guys ranted, you really went on a rant about this one and you said, Where is it from? When did you get it? I love it. It's from Cotton. I got it a very long time ago. And I think it is going to look stunning on someone else. I just think that I've given this one a try. I really think that you guys convinced me more than I convinced myself. And even though I do think that I look stunning in it, not to toot my own horn, but I feel like it's had its time with me. It's like a, sometimes friendships, you know, you just grow out of them. 
I think that I have grown out of this bikini. I think, yeah, there's really not much else to say. My hair's going so frizzy because of this rain. It's been pouring outside. Goodbye, old gal. It's been real. Okay, so we are just talking about the top right now. This is one of the first drops from Skin Swim. And at the time, I think I was being a bit hard on myself and I was like, it's too small, blah, 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 blah. Which I do still kind of feel that it's a bit tight over here. Um, I feel like I've filled out the top a bit more, which is nice. But this band is just quite, um, it's quite tight. But now that I look at it, I'm kind of like, it's not that bad. I actually really like it still. It's just here. It's not even that bad. I was just being super critical. I'm gonna keep this. Another one you probably wouldn't have seen, but this is another one from Kapshi. And when I tried it on, I was honestly obsessed. I hadn't worn like this silhouette in quite a long time. And it is really high-waisted. So if you have a long torso, this is the one for you. But I just think that it is not my vibe anymore. I think in the future, I'll probably be more drawn to these kinds of silhouettes. I wish I could find another word for spark and joy, but it's not spark and joy. I'm not even gonna ask you, because this one looks good. It looks good. I love it. 10 out of 10. We're keeping it. Guys, there's something about these cup shoe bikinis. I think it's like, there's like a mesh lining on the inside. I don't know what it is. I can't even, I can't even get my boobs right now. Whew. But like, I'm just gonna say no right now. Like, it's too small. My boobs obviously got a lot bigger. can see that she is brand spanking new and not new as in I bought it this year but new as in I bought it last year and I have not worn it yet and I don't really know why because I like it the stomach is very supportive and I think it's quite a classic cut but I think what's getting me is this band I think this is like in a medium or something crazy like that but I think it looks good from the front but I'm just like I'm very self-conscious about this stuff at the minute I mean I'm leaning more towards a yes than a no I think I should keep this one. Like, it's classic. Can't go wrong. Yeah. So I've just realized that I'm uh, actually, like, the label is here. So that's the back of the bikini. <laughs> but I'm so tired, guys. I'm sweating. My body hurts. And we're not even there. So I'm not going to change it. But this would be on the side. I've actually worn this one quite a few times. And I still actually just love it. I think she's classic. I love the color, um, I love the asymmetry of it when it's the right side. So I think that this one is a keep. Now this was one of you guys' favorites from the Tibria um, collab. And I get it, I absolutely love the design of it. I haven't worn it once since, but I also haven't swum much this year. My access to safe swimming pools is not really happening anymore, so that's a bit shitty. but. I'm confused about this one. The material's just a bit scratchy. But it's gorgeous. It's really gorgeous. It's up to you guys. It's in your hands. Because I personally do not know what to do. <clears throat> okay guys, on the reel, this one over here, this is from Kapshi, and I know for a fact that it does not fit. It did not fit, like, I couldn't even pull up <coughs> past my knees a couple of months ago. It is a stunning swimming costume, so I hope one of you buy it. It's brand new, it's classic, classy, bougie. And, um, it's probably going to be so nice on the boobies. <laughs> but no, I'm not going to try this on, so it's a hard one. I think I should keep it. I honestly feel like everyone should have a zebra bikini in their lifetime because it's just fun and we all deserve to have fun in the sun. It's not the best bikini in the world, honestly, in terms of its material and quality and whatnot, but it's still cute, still functional, and um, I'm gonna keep it until I find another 
a zebra swimming costume that tops this one, but this is the winner. Damn, this used to be one of my favorite bikinis. Like, it's made it through two closet cleaners, I think. And I'm just not feeling it today. Maybe it's because my body's changed, but I don't know, guys. This one's not doing it for me. And by the way, sorry for all the weird accents throughout this video. I'm fucking delusional right now. I'm really tired. I, I feel like I will regret giving this one away. Because I just do love her, but I think I'm going to have to ponder on this one. Damn, so this actually used to be one of my favorite bikinis. But I actually fucking hate it. I think it looks terrible. Ooh, no, it's pushing my boobies down like... No, 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 it's not the vibe anymore. It's hospital panty on steroids. Okay, so hear me out. Guys, I don't even know if you're going to believe me, but my thumbs... I've literally burnt my thumbs from going like this and taking the bikinis off. <laughs> the things you do for YouTube. I think that I need to keep this one because a girl always needs a white swimming costume. And as you can see, we literally had two one whites. And the one before was atrocious. So I think I'm going to hang on to this one until such a time that I find another white one that really sparks joy. But I mean, I think it's cute. It's, it's doing the things, but it's just not really white anymore. Um, because it's quite old, actually. But I do love the prints. I think it's, she's cute. So... Majority of this is skim stuff and you guys know I absolutely ranted and raved about it. So I feel like I'm not going to try any of this one. <laughs> I feel like we're going to go through it quickly and um, yay or nay it. The reason why I'm not trying them on because they do not fit me at all. This one, all of them I had such high hopes for. But like this green neon one, the, the boob top part was too small for me. So that's another. Sorry Max. Sorry baby. I'm sorry, are you sleeping? Then this one, it was just a very average, doesn't top any of my or, uh, other orange bikinis and was, I think the bottom was too small. And then this one was like a monokini, but like, ugh, nah, it's not my vibe. Someone I think that is smaller and has smaller boobs than me and is like a bit shorter, I think it would look stunning on y'all. Hello everybody! Hello! She hasn't made an appearance in a while. This is one of my favorite set from Skims. I've actually worn it a couple of times and I will say that I, the bottom was a bit too big on the the bum part but I feel like now I probably fill it out a bit so I think that I'm definitely going to keep this. Guys, the skim stuff is quality on beyond belief. This is the skirt from Skims. Long sleeve top which I will say I haven't worn yet but I thought about it but I absolutely am obsessed so that's a keep. This one I have worn a couple of times. I actually wear it with um, pants a lot as like a bodysuit. It's a little bit short for me, but I love the color. It makes me super snatched. This one. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, that's that one. That's kind of strange. Why do I have this? Okay. This was from the second drop. Why didn't I send this back? Or was this from the first drop? I think this was from the first drop. Are you fucking kidding me? Guys, my power just went out for the second time ah, in the day! Oh my gosh, this is abs- welcome to South Africa. You know what? I'm in a very hotful mood right now, so I'm determined to finish this. If you don't already know guys, South Africa, we have load shedding, the government turns off the power two to three times a day, maybe sometimes once if we're lucky, because um, they don't love us and they don't give a damn about our country. So uh, what's left here is one of my favorite, oh my god, <laughs> this is funny, favorites of all time. I wore this to death in Eisner, but this is the most classic piece I've ever, ever, ever owned. This is actually part of the Skims, um, it's like shapewear, but somewhere. So that's definitely staying. And then... Oh, this is part of the bandeau. So this was like a little bandeau, which unfortunately I haven't actually worn. So I think I want to sell this. As I really would have loved to um, end this video in a nice manner for you, but it's literally like 6 p.m. The sun is pretty much going down now. <laughs> Thank you so much for helping me do my closet clean out. It's been fun. 
It's been real fun. Quick tip, don't ever let it get to this point in your life because whew, it's not worth it. And we don't need so many clothes, you know? Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Remember to leave a super like if you love me. Stay peachy. Love and like, guys.